Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Smolder mid lane versus a Katarina. Uh, Smolder did not get buffed this patch, and I think that he might need a little bit of a push to really make him viable inside of Hyelo. I think that he's still pretty difficult. His win rate doesn't look very good. And there have been so many different people trying to like figure out the best build path. So I'm just going to go based off of win rate and also uh, what other people have tried, which is... One of the best build paths for him is Spear of Sojin, Riftmaker, Lyandries. So those three items are very good together, and I think I know why. Uh, firstly, Smolder seems to kind of just die very quickly. His self-peel is miserable. Um, I have seen other streamers play Smolder, like Pobelter, and he gets fed, and he dies to 0-5 Irelia, because if you get hit by something you will die with regular Smolder. That's how Navori and uh, those things kind of function. Now, you're not supposed to win early on. You are supposed to scale, in my opinion. And I just think that he needs maybe a little bit of better... Wait, what is my runes? Oh, never mind. Maybe better early game or easier way of stacking or something because it feels like the payoff isn't very good. But uh, what this build is going to do with the Spear of Sojin, Riftmaker, Lyandries is it is going to make it so... Wait a second. Nice, I was able to weave in an auto attack too. It is going to make it so we have high CDR, and it's going to give us the three items that also are... Um, when in combat, increase your damage dealt by a percentage amount. So what this means is that when you have Spear of Sojin, Landry's, and Riftmaker, all of them uh, give you percentage damage, and that affects your true damage. So what that is going to do is that when we finish our 225 stacks, which is your goal for the champion, you will uh, deal more true damage with it and thus be tanky. So you're more of like a bruiser where you're just mashing your Q key, getting everybody to take the true damage, and then if your teammates are also with you, they'll just get executed. So you're just like crazy good, um, like finishers, really. And also because it's percent tree damage. Oh, I really missed that. That's bad. You were like right on top of me too. I guess the hitbox when I first use my Achoo is not really inside of my character. So maybe that was the main reason why. So I'm trying to shove out so I can just reset. Why did you ping that brush? You just scared me. I'm gonna buy a Dark Seal. Can I buy a Kindle Gem? I'll buy a Kindle Gem. I will probably try to go pretty hard now. I don't want her to base. My goal is keep her to stay. Of course, my auto attack damage isn't going to be that much, but I just want her to be here. I don't care if I take a bad trade. Because my wave is in a good spot. Good. Okay, cool. She stayed. She has Ignite, so she just has a worse purchase. And you're dead. And sometimes you can get people to be really uncomfortable and kill them because of that. So what she wanted to do was fix the wave. On 25 stacks, our Q gets upgraded. If you're completely new to Smolder, when you upgrade or get stacks, and you get stacks by hitting your W on champions uh, or by last hitting with your Q or hitting champions with your Q. But it's mainly through the Q stacks on minions for the most part, besides the Q spam inside of teamfights versus a lot of people, but what it does is that every single ability is going to deal more damage besides your ultimate, so more damage. Damage is good, right? And then the second part, and this part is probably more important than the damage part, is that it makes your Q have different effects at certain thresholds, and the thresholds is 25, 125, 225. So it's just 25 and then 100 more two more times. So three total upgrades. The first one is an explosion. The second one is another explosion. So you have more AOE, so you can stack easier. And then the last one is the Elder Execute, basically. 
So it's going to make it so... Oh my god. Okay, I'll get all three of the minions, but I didn't get any stacks. So what it's going to do is it's going to make it so uh, people burn. And if they get below a certain amount, they just straight up die. Dang, well played. I should have thrown my W where her dagger was. I don't know why I didn't. It's kind of dumb that I didn't. But uh, to go back to talk about what Katarina was doing, uh, people like to not be frozen on, so to the point that they will literally get themselves killed just to unfreeze it. And I'll just tank your ultimate. Was that smart? I don't really know. You do have Ignite, right? So... Wow. Smolder hit me with mom wow dude i use mom and if you didn't know mom heals you but i guess i was ignited so it only heals me for half that amount which is like 70 so it really didn't heal that much i was just trying to bait clearly the bait did not work out in my favor maybe i could use mom earlier but if i use mom earlier would have katarina been too scared and zed would have never gotten the kill because that would have sucked um i didn't want to scare scare the katarina away But anyways, uh, on to like the amount of stacks that you want to be getting. You want to get about 10 per minute. Yeah, of course, as the game progresses, it get, becomes easier to stack because that's when you get AoE and stuff. So that's just a rule of thumb. Try to make it so you can last hit multiple things at once, but... Right there, I'm going to use it on her instead of the minion. She's barely going to die. I'm going to die too, though. I don't have a way out. And I'm isolated. We got her flash that time. And now we start building the Spear of Sojin. As you can see... I'm, I'm pretty tanky, right? Because I am building uh, something that gives me HP early on. So we're also going to have high CDR because we're getting 20 ability haste plus 15. So it's going to be 35 total ability haste on all of my basic abilities. So that's going to feel pretty good um, for just spamming the hell out of getting stacks. And I, I really do feel like I kind of understand why this is good just because... I feel like even on Essence Reaver Spike with Smolder, you're so squishy that when you try to duel people, your Q damage is honestly pretty bad. Even with Sheen, it doesn't feel very good. Can I Q you? Nice. That's that's one stack. My stacks per minute this game is also not looking good, so I'm hoping to turn that around soon. Because this is not... The amount of stacks that I want at 9 minutes. 54 is honestly pretty damn bad. Wow, dude. She actually just completely dominates me there. It's not even close. I even hit her with Center of Mom, but, I mean, her ultimate damage is, uh, two moms. Because it deals, like, 600 damage early on. I'm kind of greeting for stacks a little bit, but at the same time, that's just also why I think Smolder needs buffs, because, uh, I feel like a lot of champions that are AD mids, like if I was playing Jin, could honestly duel better than Smolder can. It's kind of sad that... How bad his early game dueling is. Oh, this looks really good. Really? You're gonna live? No way, dude. Seriously? That's crazy. I mean, he is really fast. At least we were able to secure somebody. I knew that fight was going to be really good because of one thing, which is your W has AoE on it. Oh, wait, you're just going to die before I get there. Dang it. Oh, wait. 
Oh, you bursted her. Oh, nice job, dude. Here comes the, the guy, though. Oh, that was... What a terrible sneeze that was. I'm just gonna leave. Time for me to go. All right. We got a lot of stacks. That is definitely gonna help out quite a bit because we were not very happy with our stacks and that uh, was a good fight for us. We were able to do a lot for our team. Plus, we got enough grubs that I might be able to get even a plate for myself. W the back wave. Q the back wave. Get the stacks. The W is just for prep. Remember, you're not actually getting stacks from landing your W. That's just to help out. Big Q damage. Oh my god, I actually killed her. Look at that, dude. The game is finally in my favor. Tell me that Kha'Zix isn't coming back. Is that also why you're around? You you feel that, right? You feel the Kha'Zix? You feel the bug near me? Alright, cool. That's huge. Definitely helps that our top lane was winning. So, like, that's why he was so tanky. He could take three of them at once and not even uh, have that big of an issue. So the next item is Riftmaker. I'm going to TP. I just want to be back on the map now. Thank you for prepping those. Ooh, give me them stacks, man. Hell yeah. The damage is looking pretty good now. And also, I'm just stacking really hard. I can use Mom. It's so telegraphed, there's no way he would get hit by it, right? No chance. He would definitely sidestep it. Their bot lane Draven is 6-1, and one, so it might seem that like we're really hard winning, but that's because their bot lane hasn't really left bot lane yet. I'm just leaving. I don't want to uh, deal with fighting her right now. I think every single time our E is down, we gotta go. We gotta leave. Okay, cool. I'm not sure why she went so aggressive. <laughs> Alright. You're just dancing. And we have our mask now. So we get the bonus damage while inside of combat, but... I don't really think that this is that crazy until you finish uh, building the, or getting the 225 stacks, in my opinion. Now, for AP ratios on Smolder, your Q has an AP ratio, your W, your E doesn't, and your ultimate does. So when you build stuff like Riftmaker, you're not completely, like, wasting the stat which is good in case you were wondering if you're just wasting that stat completely you're not um it does feed back into some of his abilities does this Q have a crazy ap ratio no it's 15 percent. it honestly is not that good which is why i think that most of this build functions off of i'm gonna let you push I i'm afraid of leona getting to the uh true damage part of his kit and utilizing the passive of your items more than Smolder's items itself. Can I do this? What a waste. I shouldn't have done- Oh, my W one-shots back wave? I didn't think my W would one-shot there. I just wasted stacks. But we're on pretty good pace. 130 at 15 minutes isn't that bad. That We're barely behind 10 per minute. And it will become easier, once again. So, around 20 minutes is when we want to have it. Might be a little bit past 20 minutes. 
What? My Q explosion di didn't hit that? Please tell me I'm not going to, like, walk into somebody and die here, please. I do have TP available. She'll probably die here. I just hit her with my Q. W hit. And she's gone. Zed got behind her. I could tell that fight was already really good for us. It looks like we're also just winning mid, huh? Dude, we're gonna get a smolder win without. Getting to our 225, huh? I was looking for Draven, but I don't see him anywhere. We'll just continue shoving. The game is in such a good state, it should just be a win. Can we just end now? No. Katarina's coming for me. Wait, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. The Orn was trapping me, man. Okay, I want to buy, man. I'm so rich. Okay, whatever. We won't buy it. So we're just going to be spamming Q on frontline, and it's eventually going to go to backline, waiting for our W spam as well. Oh, I'm probably dead here, right? Yeah. Dude, I never thought that we should do that in the first place. I had so much money. I don't know why we're still stepping up. But honestly, very good play for us to throw and have a longer smolder game. But it wasn't my intention. Like, clearly, I wanted to not fight that. I, I was saying it over and over again. We should not be doing this. I should be basing what, whatever, but that Orin had different ideas. That's okay, though. Wow, Katarina really got fed from that. That's that's a little spooky. Riftmaker gets bonus AP. So, yeah, 10% bonus damage, 6% bonus damage, and then we build this. And then this gives 6% bonus damage, or 8%, whatever, 2% per stack, so. We got a lot. And look at that. We're up to about 10 stacks per minute. Would you look at that? I could probably ulti from here, right? Oh. We didn't really go in. That's okay. Maybe I could have went in. I'm the tankiest one here, honestly. Look at my HP. I think that's all I got. I'm just trying to get stacks, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just... I'm addicted to the stacks. Taking their base. This q -ing. Getting closer, dude. I'm getting so close. Why are you going for me, of all people? Really? I'm still pretty far away from my stacks. 212. Tanky, though. Two eighteen. Two twenty four. Okay, but we got it. We're we're getting so many stacks from this. I don't care how many times we throw because the thing is that honestly, Smolder once again just doesn't really feel like a champion until you reach this. Because all of that time that I was damaging people, there was no true damage ticks going off. And now it begins.
So now we're going to get 6.5 max true damage over three seconds, and you can easily reapply it because you spam your Q. Your Q just, like, it spreads a lot because your stacks also increase, like, how many explosions you can see. It says four explosions right now. You can make it even more. And also, as you get stacks, it also makes them get executed for more. I don't think that gets affected by your items that you build, but that's okay. So the next item that you go for is uh, Rapid Fire Cannon. That's because it affects your Q range. So you're trying to make it so your Q range is very long, so you can Q from far away and get that true damage ticking. Um, so that will be the next plan. It's begun. It has begun. The tree damage also works on Baron. Which is nice. <clears throat> I will rotate over to you guys. So he gets executed. It's on Katarina, she'll probably get executed. Or she won't. Stay near me so I'm not isolated, please. That guy gets executed. I will uh, go take this, I guess. Or can we just end? I think we end. We beat Udyr. I could have based. Oh, whatever. We, we probably got it. We probably got it. We probably got it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Maybe we don't. <laughs> both of them TP'd in, but they were both 1 HP. Do I have my uh, rapid fire now? Oh my god, it costs another 700? Hell no, I don't have it. Too bad we can't see, like, the bonus damage from Riftmaker or Spear of Sojin. Doesn't tell you. Also, this does 1.5 increased damage and not 2. I don't know why it says that. So... But that's... It still is the best thing. I've, I've already looked up the win rate, so... It still is very good. I'm not gonna even finish my uh, Magi's, because... I think the value of being done with the rapid fire cannon is way too high. We need to finish it. We need to make it so I can hit people from much further away and more consistently. Yeah, we can do dragon first, I guess. I wish I had rapid fire. Oh, wait. He was letting me hit you a couple times, huh? Big tree damage. Hello? I think I'm okay here. My their whole entire team is committing for me, but I don't think I die with the Seraphine. See, like, my damage isn't, like, gonna be crazy when I hit Draven, but the thing is that we're just applying the, the stacks over and over again. So, you just kind of, it's a slow burn. You kite them with your W. Your 2 is a pretty low cooldown because you build a bunch of CDR with the um, this type of playstyle. So, a 5 and a half second cooldown on throwing out a slowing ability. And then if I finish Rapid Fire Cannon, I can hit him from further away, too, to, to help out with that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary on me playing the Smolder mid lane. It honestly took forever to get this video because I lost a lot of games of it, and this is not how it normally goes. You will lose a lot of games. I swear to God, this isn't that good, but it is the highest win rate thing for Smolder. If you do want to play him, it might be the way to build him if you're interested in still playing him despite maybe him needing some buffs. So this is the highest win rate build he has. I'm going to give it to Ornn. I mean, the Ornn uh, popped off really, really hard. My damage is definitely going to be the highest by a pretty significant margin. I kind of knew that from the beginning. But, um, 
How much true damage did I do? Probably not that much because you don't have the true damage until the very end of the game. Yeah, 4.1k. That's okay. So anyways, thanks for watching once again, guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video or subscribe if you enjoy full game commentaries. Farewell, guys. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to game two of the Smolder mid lane. We're playing against Katarina again. Uh, in fact, it's the same exact Katarina. And also, I learned that the Katarina is uh, a streamer. It's gamer girl Katarina, who is a challenger Katarina. So we successfully laned versus challenger Katarina and honestly didn't feel that bad. Um... But now it's a brand new game. We have to do it all over again. And as you saw, even though I become tanky during the extreme early game, I don't really dish out much damage. So back to, to step one of the stacks. I honestly wonder if maybe not even going W level one is better because uh, she plays so far back and is just looking to farm that maybe I could use this to my advantage and just get a couple stacks going, like two or three, because otherwise I would get no stacks. Because I'd probably not hit her with a Q or a, a W. I'd probably not hit it. And I could still harass. See that one auto attack? That's huge. Kane is immediately going to enemy raptors. I will do my best to shove quickly because if Kane uh, fights Kindred, I don't think he wins. So, yeah. Okay, cool. You got the Raptors very quickly. Nice, man. I didn't realize you... Now it's a jungle path that's crazy. You can just go from wolves to her Raptors, steal them, and then immediately go back into your jungle. Big damage there. Might be a similar scenario where um, I buy early and TP back. I'm not looking to win lane, but I can definitely make hers more miserable by TPing early on and forcing her to stay by freezing. If I get ganked by Kindred, I feel like I die. I'm spooked. Okay, got a Q on her. Plus one. Explosions soon. Two points into W. You really spooked me there. You scared the crap out of me that you jumped on me because I was worried that I was honestly getting ganked, but there was no gank. You were just poking me. Dude, you're just going to get stopped. This is not something I can even rotate to, in my opinion. Dang, look at all those stacks over there. Those minions are going to die, though. Remember how I said I was going to base? That's really bad W. I could have landed that. I think that this game I'm not going to be able to get that crazy uh, reset thing going. It's not possible this time. Ooh. Maybe it is possible. I froze it. Or does she just base now? Ooh, she doesn't. Hmm. 24. There you go. There's Karma. I want to freeze, though. She's definitely gonna come back, but Karma's here though. Auto attacked once, twice. Got him. 
Big. Oh my, that is so gigantic. Thank you, T. You know what? I'm gonna run it down now. Thanks, Kate. All right. Well. I don't one-shot back wave. That's okay, though. I can still just, like, continue queuing it. There's no way Kendra kills me here. And I don't think Katarina can get back in time to freeze it. So I'll just fly away. Your E, by the way, targets champions and lowest champions. So right there, just targeted Katarina. Lowest health enemy. Prioritize champions. Jojin. The the same build as last game is so funny. Like the the purchases. I deal no damage. <laughs> My Bolian's getting rolled. No. Hear me out. My ultimate kill. It won't. It won't. It won't work. Never mind. If I ulti and I land the center of it, maybe, but there's no way it would. No chance. No. Okay, good. Huge. You're gonna base. Okay, see you later. Okay, 41 stacks at seven minutes. I think we're doing a little bit better than last game in stacking. And we have the only kills on our team. Great. That's awesome. I'm gonna run away. You are a little bit dead here, and she's gonna get a reset, so I'm just gonna continue running. I think that was worth it, though, because you helped me out quite a bit. My wave might be really, really bad, but I'll just shoot that off, get one creep, and then leave. I can't fix this, probably. Maybe I could have fixed it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could have stayed and just shot off another W or something. We're 3-0, but we have no shutdown, and that's because my team's losing really hard. But no longer. I don't even think that if I go bot here, it's good. Is it? Could it have been good? Could I have, like, prevented my bot lane from getting dove here? Hmm. One stack. W. Three stacks. I feel pretty safe as long as I don't get ganked. Ooh. Very nice. Nice, I got the cannon too. Katarina used ultimate, so I should be okay to harass her and not feel too threatened. And I can just continue queuing her for the stackies. I'm just looking at the map. Nobody's really coming. No, I'm so bad. My E damage, honestly, I, I was expecting more. I really was. That didn't really deal that much. It says it deals so much, though. If I just landed my W, it would have been fine. That's so bad. I'm, I'm, like, kind of one of the reasons why we can even win this game. Like, because... If, if I was 0, 0, 0 and your bot lane is this far behind, in a lot of games, you almost can never come back. So because I threw, it's, it's actually such a big deal. Because I'm kind of a liability, or not, not a liability. I'm like a really important factor in the game, and falling behind isn't really an option. So I kind of ruined everything. 
You have Nashers. You have Nashers. That's crazy, man. How the hell do you have Nashers already? Okay, well, this Kindred is kind of running it, so... Bard, help me. I don't know if you can, but... No, I'm just dead. You got me. She'll kill you, too. Oh, she won't kill you. You might be wondering why I didn't cast my ultimate there, but I'm just letting you know it would have never worked. Because when you die, Smolder's mom doesn't give a shit about you anymore. She just does not come out. Like, it fizzles. Your your ultimate does not go off. It's actually so stupid, but yep. So I probably would have died. Which is sad. Guys, I made one mistake and I ruined the game. I'm sorry. I, I died to Katarina one time and now I can't even survive her burst. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're a scaling champion. We're a scaling champion. Hey, Kane got her. Big shutdown. <gasps> oh my god, if I got snared under turret there, that could have been so tragic. Thank god. That was pretty bad. I don't think that my next Q will kill that guy, dude. I'm sorry, but my champion is not good at finishing right now. Also, Katarina's here. So I'm gonna leave. She might jump over this wall. She can do that. So I'm going to run really far away to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, Kane, you just got another shutdown, so you are the main character of this game. Congratulations. You got Katarina shut down and Jin shut down for, like, over a thousand gold, so... You are the shining light to bring me to late game. Can you please uh, assist me with scaling? They got two dragons, too. Fuck. No. My CS sucks. <laughs> How can it be that I make one mistake and it ruins everything? Oh, yeah, it's Hyelo. That's why. W doesn't one-shot back wave? Let's go. This honestly doesn't even seem like something I should be going to. Like with my TP. Maybe I can run there, but that's about it. Big ultimate? Hey, we did it. Katarina's probably going to kill us all. Katarina resets. Woo. As soon as I saw Zeri was one shot and Katarina was there, I already knew I was going to die because there's you don't have counterplay. When your teammates are low, Katarina will reset on everybody. But I did survive longer than I should have because of the build path. And eventually, I'm hoping um, that we can get to the point that we don't immediately die. Should probably one shot me now.
Wow, I died immediately. I'm glad you didn't. I can even get over the wall. I, I died that quick. I guess just don't step on daggers or something. That's what the Katarina players say, at least. Can I... Man, do I really want to build magic resist? Probably not. I think we need levels more than anything else. It's not even an MR issue. Why'd I even build Rukern? That item's kind of crazy, right? Wow. They're so inexpensive, though. Hmm. Hmm. I'm terrified. If Katarina jumps on me, I'm dead. I'm gonna sit underneath my tower. Goodbye. You almost killed me. Goodbye. I have no way to play against you. Ooh, I killed both. Cool. All right, Katarina's coming. Get ready, guys. She's going to kill us all. Hey, they're all dying. I'm fed. I, I got so many kills there. Huge. I don't have a wave yet, but when that wave arrives, I will be ready. The only thing that we did there that was special was uh, Katarina had a dagger on Bard, and obviously she's going to go for it because she's a Katarina player, so... I used my W early, anticipating her to Chunko on it. Because that's what Katarinas do. Being able to anticipate what the player will do makes landing skill shots 50 times easier. Oh my god, that hit me? Can I Q you? No? You're not going to let me? One forty-eight stacks at 18 minutes? We're not going to reach it this game, um, like, that quickly. I don't even think we can do it by 22 minutes. The current rate that we're at is not looking very good. Alright, Riftmaker completed. So we have two items, and she has two items. Does that mean we can win now? Hell no. She'll probably just still one-shot us still, but... I'm a bit tankier. We will beat her at 225 stacks. Not in a 1v1, but in team fights. So, that's what we're waiting for. Team fights. Yo. I'm dead before I even can survive. That's so crazy, and I'm worth a shutdown? Well, well played to her. She's just a flawless player. Being able to just shun Po and kill me like that is, uh... Very talent. talented. Damn it, man. She's gonna have three items now. Uh, 154 stacks. It's terrible. I should be closing in. It's just because I can't go anywhere side lane versus her, otherwise I immediately die. Oh, oh well. I like how my character stopped. Guys. Guys, I'm scared that we're gonna overextend here. Never mind. It was them who overextended us. Come 
More stacks. He didn't die? He didn't die. Oh my god, man. Ow. Oh, I got a stack. Okay, we just increased our stack substantially there. So. Oh my goodness, bro. Leave me alone. Alright, see you later. Don't perform top. Dragon's coming up. You know, maybe we should just give the dragon ideal true damage, so it's not like their um, chemtech whatever is like that good. Bard died? No. Is that Baron? Oh wait, let me buy a blue trinket. Got a blue trinket, guys. I don't think that's really gonna matter. If they're on Baron, we probably just lose Baron. We're getting close, though. To, pr to the promised land. Because I see they're not on Baron, I'm just trying to keep myself alive at this point. Alright, Kane's dead. 100%. Nobody... Oh, they're kind of low, actually. Good stall. I don't even think that we should be, like, contesting all the way. That was just good. Just get some kills. Back away. Prevent the Baron. They get soul. Probably. I don't even think we should contest it. Probably. Please. It's not even worth. Kane, steal that shit. I'm gonna get my stacks. Can you kill her? No, you don't have ult yet. No, you're dead, dude. But that's okay, trust me. The promised land. All right, now we go RFC so we can attack people from much further away. Two nineteen. What? Ah, uh, this is so bad, guys. I I need to leave. I'm sorry, but like we're gonna lose the game if I don't. I think the game might be over if I if I die here. I managed to get off a huge amount of stacks there, and a lot of them almost died. RFC. We got Zack passive, for instance. He he should have died there, but he um, didn't die because he's Zack. So he uh, revived.
I don't think there's a way that I can fight this guy. Just stacking. <clears throat> cool. Ow. Nice try. And we're all dead. I think. Smolder's mom doesn't give a shit about me because I died. <laughs> as soon as Kane got one shot, it just instantly became over. I'm so sad, man. We just can't get caught like that. I don't know who it was who got one shot, but that kind of ruined it. I don't even know if my uh, team can defend here. It'd be really cool if they can, though. Yo, just hit the, the, the wave. No, oh, it's so doomed. It's over. Dang it, man. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the second gear, the second game of me playing um, Smolder. As you can see, this is honestly more how it feels to play Smolder. You give up so much early game presence that you could actually just uh, lose a game outright. Because the crazy part about Smolder, very similar to Hoi, by the way. Very similar situation. Hoi always uh, topped damage shards, but he you would always lose the game, right? Same thing for Smolder. You top the damage for the most part, but you just can't win games. Because, unfortunately, his kit just needs a little bit of an oomph. A little bit more to make him more viable. Also, that was like a... This guy's name is Can't Carry? Whatever. Anyways... Thanks for watching once again, guys. It was a tough loss, but we did our best. Thanks for watching again. See you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the third game. What? But isn't this video going to be really long? Oh, well. I'll just make a bonus game. So this is me playing Botley and Smolder. I got auto-filled this game. Playing versus Cat. I mean, not really playing versus Cat, but yeah. So we're playing bot lane. I have the same exact like rune page going on, the same exact idea. I might go Trinity Force this game in replacement of Lyandries. Maybe I should go for a... Uh... I don't think we win level 1, but I could try to throw a W at them, though. Whatever, I'll, I'll start Q. Really? Do I die? What? That is crazy damage from Poppy, dude. That's insane. It's kind of worth, though. Maybe I would have never died if I didn't immediately turn back for, like, a millisecond. Is my wave bad? Did I lose way more creeps than them? But did we even touch the wave? Did we? Hmm. I don't know. Does it really matter for that much of the early game, I wonder? I don't even know. Oh my god, you're dead. Yep, I knew it, dude. I'm so sad for you. I'm sorry, man. There was no way that I could even help you there. I think Poppy support is so damn good. I just need to give up the creeps and just wait. This is a disaster, but there's not really much that we can do. We're only level one. We fell behind.
Seraphine seems uh, a little fair, I guess. Dang, she's gonna live with one HP. That was a good try though. I got him. Why me? Why me? Why are you focusing me? Yo, we did it, Maokai. Me and you. It's cat here. I can't leave if Cat's here. Like, I'm, I'm just dead. Huge, dude. Huge plays. I can't believe that guy went so hard for me. <laughs> that Rek'Sai. That was so aggressive, dude. Oh, her Q missed. Oh no, she has no mana too. Flap, go, go faster. I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't got anything. He, he probably should have never went in that aggressive. As a little bit too much, I think. We need to be a little bit more patient. First upgrade completed. I will help with this. Nice, secure. Can you really kill me here? I'll flash, or not flash, but like go over the wall. Sorry. Okay, I didn't miss cannon. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm terrified. Oh my, I just don't deal damage to the wave at all. So I can't CS because I don't even have like anything. Oh, that was so close. I'll auto attack this guy a couple times, but that's all I got, man. Yo, Maokai, we're crazy, bro. Me and you. I really thought this game was just going to be doomed. I'm so happy that we managed to come back. I He also asked if I was going Comet, and I said, no, I'm going Fleet, and he said, I have never seen a Smolder ever be good with Fleet. Prove me wrong. And that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> he said, prove me wrong. How is Fleet looking now? He's going to be like, it looks terrible still. <laughs> Maybe I'll go Training Force first this game. I like how he doesn't even answer. I wonder if he's muted. Like, uh, some people are deafened or they don't have chat on. Or if he just doesn't want to say anything. It's fine, man. I get it. Let's, let's not get overconfident. Until 
the victory screen is ours. That's what he's saying. No ego. Oh, you prepped the wave perfectly! Oh my god, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Look at all these minions. Macarena is coming. Got it. Hmm, this is awkward. I don't think that we can fight this big wave and stuff. Nice poke. Not bad. Good good hit on her. That hit Poppy. My Q hit Poppy and the minion. So I got two things there. I was in a knock on Landry's because I felt like we had enough AP damage, but both of our AP damage dealers are getting shit on, so um, it's not looking very good. Nice kill, man. I live! Right? I don't live. Do I live? Is Katarina coming too? I'm not uh, gonna help you. I'm leaving. Oh! <gasps> This doesn't build out of this? That's okay. There's other items that build out of it. We're delaying our Trinity Force by a small amount, but overall, um... This will build into our Shoujin. The Spear of Shoujin. Because there's multiple things that build out of that, so... It's whatever. Please tell me I'm not getting dove by Rexa right now. If, if you land something on her, I will follow you up. It's all you, bro. I can't go on her on my own. You are my, uh, my way in. <laughs> uh... This fight seems bad. You're gonna send everybody for me. Dang, she hit that. Dang, if I got off my W, it'd been so good. <laughs> uh. That is a really big, um disadvantage right now like that is 
quite gigantic. That is 50, 56 CS difference. I just said that the wrong way. Guys, I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to get to the point that I can get to the 225 stacks again. Seems a little difficult. I'm not seeing the way right now. Let's go, Maokai. I don't, I don't really care if we don't get the kill. What matters is that we pressure. That's good. Should we... We're committing? Okay. We're dead. But we'll get the turret. We can't even get the turret. We're too weak. No, we can get the turret. We can get the turret. Yo, we did it. Let's go. They also didn't even rotate for us. I was nervous for nothing. Man, it'd be so cool if this game actually is somewhat winnable, but it's looking so bad right now. I really want a base. Yo, I'll carry. Just stop fighting. Yo, I like the positivity, Kindred. That... You're dead. <laughs> no! <laughs> what was that? I'm, I'm dead too, bro. The Vex missed everything. The Vex missed everything, bro. This guy's dead. One K, huh? One K onto the Katarina. Ooh, X Flash. I guess I can help you with this. Why not? I don't got nothing better to do. This gives gold to everybody. It's kind of nice. Vex, honestly, I should have probably taken your blue buff. I don't think you really are deserving of it right now. Well, I didn't die to cat. Cool. I almost did, though. They have so many threats, it's crazy. I can't walk into the wreck side. Oof. That was a little close. I live though. Barely. Hey, I lived! 
Yo, we did it, guys. I still think the game is not in a state that we can come back, but nice, I guess. Wow. Uh, ooh, another shutdown. This time for Kindred? Oh, they are really hard grouping, huh? Ooh, Inchi flashed in. You're dead, but you did amazing stuff there. That was very good. That guy's dead. Gigantic. Let's not overcommit. Let's not overcommit. I guess I'll try to farm mid. I'm probably going to just die at a cat, though. Oh. I mean, she burned her flash. That's a five minute cooldown. I'm okay with dying when somebody has flash up because that opens up opportunities to sometimes come back. Because she's worth another 1,000. Like, just because we got her bounty doesn't mean like, oh, we shouldn't commit a bunch of resources to kill her anymore. We should still be committing a lot of resources to kill her. Killing her is very important still because she is worth another K. We still are miles away from being able to do that though. Oh, that was a good try, Gragas. I would love to help you guys with whatever is going on, but... <laughs> She's going to live. I already know it. Nice shield. Seraphine, you did it. God, that 1k was so close. I got him. I did it. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, I'm not. Yet. I mean, you guys are getting me really close to getting my stacks, dude. We're getting very close. I will kill them all. Dude. This Kindred... He's ready for war. My god. I have so much money. I don't even think that I can, like, help with the... Oh. Uh... Oh, I'm not there. No. No. You're all gonna die before you can kill her. I already knew that was gonna be bad. I can tell. Uh, They're probably on Baron, but our ultimate's pretty worthless here. Because Seraphine shields are probably too much. I want stacks. 201 stacks, guys. We're making it. You're dead.
it's all okay because honestly you guys are just doing a good job at stalling still this has been not bad good stall good stall can i even step up here probably not right rex i can tunnel over i'll just sit under tower and wait are you dead Oh. I got 1k! I got my stacks! No! I died to Ignite. I got one shot by River Necton, but that's okay because we managed to once again do something and get the game in a better state. I have the stacks now. We can maybe still do it. Maybe. If if Cat dies. we can maybe just stall forever. Just... Yeah, holding off Baron will be hard. That's a lot of people topside, dude. My whole team is versus Katarina. There is a Renekton in this brush. So RFC next. RFC. I mean, that one. Okay, I guess. No, she's not gonna die. I think we lose the fight. Careful, careful. We need to defend the base. Just defend the base! Just defend the base! No! It's not even worth killing him. It's not worth it. Even if you kill him, it's barely any gold. It's barely any gold. You know what? I'll say that I'm wrong there. Holy shit. How did you guys win that? How did you guys win that? I, I'm very surprised. Well played, dude. I honestly think that maybe it's okay giving up outside now. I noticed that they were all inside this corridor, so that's why I popped my ultimate, and I think it was worth it, too. I mean, I hit almost everybody, and we won that fight, kind of. That is Katarina. No, it's not Katarina. It's not Katarina. That's Seraphine. Katarina doesn't have TV. What the hell am I saying? We need to just defend the base. Defend. <sighs> Yo. Don't go for dragon, get Baron. Mm. I'm not getting any stacks from these minions, am I? I'm just missing everything. I would say that probably smolder stacks aren't as important, though. Is, like, the damage increase is not as substantial as getting to the stack amount that we need, you know? Who's gonna go bot? Vex? Vex has TP, by the way. 
small thing. Vex has the TPs. This ward is trying to see if they flank us. We don't even have Gragas with us. Defending the base! What? No way! Just finish it. If, if he steals it, we just lose. I don't care. Okay, we lose, GG. GG's. Vex. I have no comment, bro. All right, so that was me trying again to play Smolder. So anyways, hopefully guys enjoyed that other bonus game of me playing Smolder bot lane. Uh, I don't know what she was thinking with not just clearing bot wave and we don't need to have the help. All right, so see you guys later, bye.